Niagara Park, Junie B. Jones, First Grade, Shipwreck, Chapter 9. How do you think the play will go and why? Chapter 9, Shipwrecked. Thursday, Dear First Grade Journal, Tonight is Parents' Night. Tonight is Parents' Night. And good news, Roger came back to school today. Only now he has a little bit of a cold. Only, who even cares? Because, yay, he's going to be land. We practiced our play three more times today. It went very good. Except for Sheldon doesn't want to sail to Jeremy Roger. Plus, May kept on hogging the whole entire ocean blue from Junie B, first grader. As soon as I finished writing, the bell rang to go home. I quick put away my journal and I skipped out of room one very gleeful. Only, ha, that night after I ate dinner, mother and daddy drove me right back. And I skipped back in again. And guess what? There were parents snooping everywhere. They were snooping at our bulletin boards and snooping in our desks. And they were even snooping in our test papers. All of the children had tension in us. Because every test can't be a gem, you know. Then finally, Mr. Scary saved the day. He clapped his loud hands together and he said it was time for the play. Then, whoo, all of us got relief on our faces and we hurried to the auditorium as fast as we could go and we quick put on our costumes. I tapped on Sheldon very giggly. My stomach has butterflies in it. I said, does your Sheldon, does your stomach have butterflies in it? Just then, Roger sneezed real loud near Sheldon's ear. Sheldon made a sick face. Then he quick held his nose nostrils again, and he whispered the word, Jeremy boy. Pretty soon, Mr. Scary made the shush sign. Then he smiled at us in our costumes. Okay, people, it's showtime, he whispered very excitedly. He did a happy thumbs up. We did a happy thumbs up back. Then very slow, Mr. Scary opened the curtains and our Columbus play began. Lucille and Jose walked to the middle of the stage. Hello, sailor. My name is Richie Queen Isabella, said Lucille. Jose did a bow. Hola, Queen Isabella. My name is Cristobal Colon. I would look to, like to look for a new trade route to China. Can I please have some money to sail the ocean blue? Lucille reached into her purse. Okay, here's some money, she said, but please bring back the change. After that, Jose bowed to Lucille again, and Lucille curtsied to Jose, and they walked off the stage. The sailors hurried to their places. My heart pounded and pounded inside me on account of after the sailors came, the ships. Mr. Scary lined us up to go on stage. Good luck, you three, he whispered. Then, woo-wee! It was time. I swallowed very hard. <gasps> then, me and May and Sheldon sailed right onto the stage, and we started to say our lines. I am the Pinta, and I'm the fastest ship, I said. I am the Santa Maria, and I'm the biggest ship, said May. Then Sheldon started to say his line, too. Only too bad for him, because just then, Roger did another loud sneeze, and you could hear it everywhere. Sheldon scrunched his face and very disgusted and looked back at him. I am the Nina. And Roger should wash his hands, he said. Me and May looked surprised at that line, but Mr. Scary whispered to keep on going. Jose walked out and said his next words. Ah, three fine ships, just what I need to sail the ocean blue. Tomorrow we will begin our journey. After that, Shirley walked out with a big sign. It said, 
Okay, now it's tomorrow. The audience did a chuckle, ha ha ha, only I don't know why. Then Camille and Chenille stretched their ocean waves across the floor. And hooray, hooray, all of us ships began to sail to Roger. There was a curvy line on the floor of the stage for us to follow. We were supposed to sail side by side, very perfect. Only just a thought. Pretty soon, May tried to squeeze in in front of me, and that was just plain wrong. On account of the Santa Maria was not the fastest ship, and you can't change history. That is how come I had to speed up a teensy bit. Only too bad for me, because when I speed it up, I accidentally nudge May's ship in her side. And then, bam, she nudged me back hard, on purpose, I mean, and crash. The pinta fell right off of my shoulders, and I tripped over my ship, and I fell right smack on the floor. Then, oh no, oh no, May tripped over my feet and she fell down right on top of me. And so Sheldon almost fell too. Only he quick did a swervy and he crashed into land instead. And then kaboom, both of them fell on the floor across from us. And that's when the worstest thing of all happened. Because all of a sudden, ah, 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 choo! Roger sneezed in Sheldon's face, and it went right directly up his nostrils. Ah! yelled Sheldon. Then he quick tried to get up, but he just kept falling down again. And so Mr. Scary rushed onto the stage, and he stood Sheldon up on his feet. Only more bad news, because Sheldon pulled away from him, and then... Vroom! Fast as a race card, he sailed straight back to Spain and down the steps and off the stage and right out the auditorium door. I did a gasp at that sight. <gasps> then I sat there sickish and frozen and May sat sickish and frozen too because now Columbus would never get to America and it was all our faults. Was your prediction right? The play was a disaster. I predicted that Junie B would mess it up in some way. I feel bad for her teacher and her classmates because they worked so hard on that play.